City College of San Francisco has over 100,000 enrolled students, making us the largest community college in the nation. Our alumni include actress Barbara Eden from My Dream of Jeannie, Danny Glover, indie musician Joanna Newsom, and voice of the Baltimore Orioles, Joe Angel. Here are some more things you might not know about our historic institution. I was a student here at the City College of San Francisco in the late 50s. I think I started here in September of 57 and graduated with an AA in 59. Walking around the campus now with my grandson Paul Duncan, who is a student here now, brings back lots of memories thinking about how uh, the school uh, is different and uh, how it's similar, it's, it really seems um, more similar, like the City College I remember, than, uh, than different. Uh, the student uh, seems as uh, vibrant and energetic and uh, with a great potential as they did back in the 50s. The big events in the 60s, of course, were the um the war protest scenes, we had rallies. I, I wore my, my 60s hippie peace sign, which I wore a lot in classes in that time. Um, there was a combination, especially with San Francisco State, of, of how shall we say, ra well, a lot of rallies. The, the times were the famous shut down the campuses times. And State was into that, and they were not too far from us. Um, and there was also the, the new, um, especially black power movement, and we had a lot of uh, rallies about that. But our campus stayed in very much, the, the faculty and the students, we never shut down the campus because we rather talk about things and be in session. The San Francisco State students would come by usually between 11 and 12 each day, pound on our windows to get us to join them in some of their <clears throat> more riotous scenes. We never did. But now and again, we would we would break from major rallies in the in the gymnasiums, uh, and we I say we because the students and the faculty were always together on these kinds of rallies. I first started. It was probably you probably had about 17, 18 percent African American students, and now it's more probably around seven percent. The Asian population was uh, less varied. Uh, and we started having uh, a more variable population of Asian students. We didn't have as many Cambodians, Vietnamese, and so forth in those times, but now it's a lot more diversity and variation. And I think one of the most exciting parts of that time is that <clears throat> people were beginning to um, be a lot more open in terms of sexual orientation and sexual sexuality. And so uh, basically uh, it became, it started to feel a little safer for people to be able to express their individuality. So I thought that was something that began much more strongly in the 70s and kept continuing to go. Hey, City College, uh, I think it was one of the, the best schools for people like myself who doesn't have enough funds to go to a private school. Wow, this is amazing. I mean, this is like the reality of what it is, but in City it was more like a fantasy because you had a small rooms. I know in the 60s we were more really hip hip but you know, uh, it's more now I see myself learning digital for the first time. First time, I'm amazing. I'm almost like in the 67, 68, but I finally learned how to push the button and the computer, bang, turned on.
Hi, welcome back to IDTV. We have two very special guests in the studio right now. Both are active members of the wonderful and skilled faculty staff right here at City College. Uh, both work in our very own Louise and Claude Rosenberg Junior Library and the Learning Resource Center, and both are lovers of San Francisco. Charles Fakia and Christopher Cox, welcome to the show. Thank, Thank you. you. Okay. Now, San Francisco has always been the major epicenter for social change in the United States. How would you describe social change through San Francisco? Well, for me, I've always attributed to the, to the discovery of gold in 1848 in California. This brought hundreds of thousands of people to California, many of them to San Francisco, which is the port closest to where gold was found. And so it was, it, there were two unique uh, facets of, this, of this, the growth of the city. One was there was an almost entirely male uh, immigration, mm -hmm. and two, uh, people came simultaneously from every part of the country, every part of the world. Only time that's ever been done that in the development of U.S. city. Wow. And that led to a certain social consciousness, to, to innovation, to all sorts of change, mm -hmm. uh, which developed in all sorts of ways in San Francisco. Three, three come to mind. One is the fact that San Francisco is one of the only three cities in the United States to have, uh, have had a general strike, which happened mm -hmm. in 1934. Two is the whole hippie era of the 1960s, which changed the consciousness of the United States and Western Europe. And the third was uh, the fact that this city was in the absolute forefront, pioneer, in, in gay rights, for example. Mm -hmm. So all, the, the, all these things came together to, to really to, to form a very unusual urban landscape. Mm -hmm. It makes me very proud to be part of San Francisco. All right, now I was reading your bio, my, your bio here, and it says that you were actually kicked out of high school, but now you are a PhD toting, uh, you know, chairperson of the Library of Technology. So how, how did you do that? Uh, that's correct. I was kicked out of one high school, and I ended up dropping out an, of another high school. Mm -hmm. As Charles mentioned back during the hippie period, I was mainly interested in making sandals, leather goods, and various other things to serve the hippie uh, uh, clothing mm -hmm. uh, desires. Um, but people that I knew encouraged me to go to college, and uh, so I earned a GED. That was their first advice. And then I went to college, and I took advantage of uh, some of their advice, mm -hmm. uh, particularly um, scholarships and tutoring services. And the, the biggest piece of advice was to get a job on campus mm -hmm. and stay focused uh, with my life on campus. That happened to be a library job. I enjoyed the work. And these many years later and several degrees later, mm -hmm. I'm uh, still at the City College Library. That's amazing. Now, you guys are also part of the Historical Society. I mean, how, do, how does that work out? Well, I, I found that in, in 1987, it was called, it's called the Sanskrit Museum and Historical Society. Mm -hmm. uh, we have publications, mm -hmm. we have programs, mm -hmm. walking tours, and so forth down the line. And we are rehabilitating the old mid at 5th and Mission Street as a museum of Sanskrit history. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Okay. Well, Charles is the chairperson of the Rosenberg Library, and Christopher is the chair of Library Information Technology Program. Uh, Charles, Chris, thank you for so much for joining us today. Uh, Charles has written four books. Fire and Gold is the most popular, and they can all be checked out in our own library. Uh, he's also the founder of the San Francisco Museum of Historical Society, and you can find more information about the society at sfhistory.org. Okay. Thank you guys for so much. isn't so boring after all, Red. Yep. And guess what else? What? I got another joke. Oh my god. Okay, you're gonna love this. Okay, okay. alright. What does Emperor Claudius and a piece of I dirt have in... I don't wanna know it. Oh, okay, oh, I got another one. Okay, alright. What did Hadrian's Wall you're, say to the... You're not funny. <laughs> you're not... I am funny. No. Okay, alright. No. Hold on, hold on. Okay, okay. So Napoleon and a Knight's Temple... Just, uh, you know what? After all, what you said, it just... It just goes in one ear and right out the other. You're okay, you know what? I got a really good one. You're gonna, you're gonna love this. Okay, question. one okay, last so, one. All right, just okay, go. so Jesus Christ. Okay, you're done. Uh, you're done. You know what? Just don't, don't even quit your day job because you're horrible at what you do. <laughs> okay. Okay. Well then, uh, I, I guess that's all the time we have left on the show. Yeah. Uh, and thank you for joining us. I'm Kay. <laughs> and I'm Red. And thanks for joining us on, on IDTV. IDTV.